Hey everybody, my glasses are fogging up, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today, I'm going to show you how to mic a drum kit. Let's take a look at the equipment we'll be using first. First off, we have a couple of PG58s. These are for the toms. Next, we have our bass drum mic, which is a CAD KM212. Then, we'll be using the Shure SM58 for the snare drum. And then two CAD C9 pencil mics for the overheads. One requiring a toilet paper roll because I'm too lazy to buy a better mic stand. With the bass drum mic, you slide it in the hole, provided you have a hole, and you try not to clip it like I just did. And you want to push it all the way in until it's as close to the beater as you can get. I try to get the bass drum mic as close to the beater as possible on the other side because I'm looking for the click. Um, I can add in extra thump if I need it. I can add in that low end punch from the bass drum digitally. But adding in the click is really difficult. I haven't found a way to do it yet. So I always try extra hard to make sure I get my click going into the signal or going into the mix rather than trying to find it later. Now when placing the snare mic, I always like to keep it closer to the rim, but still pointing towards the center. I feel like this gives me a little more crack for my snare and helps it stand out more in the mix. Tom mics, I set up the same way. Um, I point them down towards the center of the drum and I push them back towards the edge of the drum a little bit. But as you'll notice between the snare and the tom, I don't try to stay as close to the rim here because I'll get a lot of weird overtones if I do that. So I try to just push everything forward a little more. Finally, we have our overhead mics. Now I like to do an XY pattern. So both mics point down towards the center of the kit, but at opposing angles. Um, I keep mine relatively low in the grand scheme of things. I know there are some guys who like to go really high with their overheads, but for me, it doesn't really make that much of a difference because I don't use a lot of cymbals or anything. I, you really just rely on the close mics to pick up the majority of my sounds and these overheads are just for cymbals. All right, and here is the kit all mic'd up. Except I just now realized that I did not run any microphone cables. So I'm going to have to do that now, which means all of my adjustments on the overheads are for nothing. So there's a little tip for you. Make sure you run your mic cables. Oh, yep, even on the bass drum. Make sure you run your mic cables before you set them up. Well, that's how I mic my kit, guys. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or have anything else like this from the studio, like how I mic my guitar cabs or how I do vocal miking, any of that junk, if you want to know, leave it down in the comments below and I'll try to make a video for that too. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Hi, guys. My name's Seamus. If you like this video and want to see more tip videos, click the subscribe button. Have a good day.